Love is the most powerful and still most unknown energy in the world. Now you are receiving the knowledge of the one and only power to all good things in life and you will be able to use it to change your entire life. But first you must understand exactly how love works. The law of love. The universe is governed by natural laws. We can fly in an aeroplane because aviation works in harmony with natural laws. The laws of physics didn't change for us to be able to fly. But we found a way to walk in accordance with natural laws and by doing so we can fly. Just as laws of physics govern aviation, electricity and gravity, there is a law that governs love. To harness the positive force of love and change your life, you must understand its law. The most powerful law in the universe, the law of attraction. From the greatest of the smallest, the law of attraction is what holds every star in the universe. The force of attraction can be seen in all of nature form a flower attracting bees or a seed attracting nutrients from the soil to every living creature being attracted to its own species. The force of attraction separates through all the animals on the earth, fish in the sea and birds in the sky leading them to multiply and form herds, schools and flocks. The force of attraction holds together the cells of your body the materials of your house and the furniture you sit on and it holds your car to the road and the water in your glass. Every object you see is held together by the force of attraction. Attraction is the force that draws people to other people. It draws people to form cities and nations, groups, clubs and societies where they share common interests. It is the force that pulls one person to science and another to cooking. It pulls people to various sports or to different styles of music, to certain animals and pets. Attraction is the force that draws you to your favorite things and places, and is the force that draws you to your friends and the people you love. The attractive force of love. So what is the force of attraction? The force of attraction is the force of love. Attraction is love. When you feel an attraction to your favorite food, you are feeling love for that food. Without attraction, you wouldn't feel anything. All food would be the same to you. You wouldn't know what you love or what you don't love because you wouldn't be attracted to anything. You wouldn't be attracted to another person, a particular city, house, car, sport, job, music, clothes or anything because it's through the, the force of attraction, attraction is the law of love. love. And it is the all-powerful love that keeps everything in harmony, from countless galaxies to atoms. It is operating in everything and through everything in the universe. It is the law that operating in your life. In the universal terms, the law of attraction says like attracts like. What that means in simple terms for your life is what you give out, you receive back. Whatever you give out in life is what you receive back in life. Whatever you give by the law of attraction is exactly what you attract back to yourself. To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Isaac Newton Every action of giving creates an opposite action of receiving and what you receive always equal to what you have given. Whatever you have given out in life must return to you. It is the physics and the mathematics of the universe. Give positively and you receive back positively. Give negatively and you receive back negatively. Give positivity and you receive back a life full of positive things. Give negativity and you receive back a life filled with negative things. And how do you give positivity or negativity? To your thoughts and your feelings. In any moment, you are giving either positive thoughts or negative thoughts. You are giving either positive feelings or negative feelings. And whether they are positive or negative will determine what you receive back in your life. All the people, circumstances and events that make up every moment of your life are being attracted back to you through the thoughts and feelings you are given out. Life doesn't just happen to you. You receive everything in your life based on what you have given. Give and it will be given to you. For by your standard of measure, it will be measured to you in return. Jesus What you give, you receive. Give help and support to a friend when he is moving house and most surely that help and support will return to you with lightning speed. 
give anger to family member who let you down and that anger will also return to you clothed in the circumstances of your life you are creating your life with your thoughts and your feelings Whatever you think and feel creates everything that happens to you and everything you experience in your life. If you think and feel I have got a difficult and a stressful day today, then you will attract back to you all people, circumstances and events that will make your day difficult and stressful. If you think and feel life is really good to me, you will attract back to you all people, circumstances and events that will make life really good for you. You are a magnet. The law of attraction is unfailingly giving you every single thing in your life based on what you are giving out. You magnetize and receive the circumstances of wealth, health, relationship, your job and every single event and experience in your life based on the thoughts and feelings you are giving out. Give out positive thoughts and feelings about money and you magnetize positive circumstances, people and events that bring more money to you. Give out negative thoughts and feelings about money and you magnetize negative circumstances, people and events that cause you to have lack of money. Whether humanity will consciously follow the law of love, I do not know, but that need not disturb me. The law will work just as the law of gravitation works whether we accept it or not, said by Mahatma Gandhi. As surely as you think and feel, the law of attraction is responding to you. It doesn't matter whether your thoughts and feelings are good or bad, you are given them out and they will return to you as automatically and precisely as an echo returns the same words you send out. But this means that you can change your life by changing your thoughts and feelings. Give positive thoughts and feelings and you will change your entire life. Positive and negative thoughts. Your thoughts are both the words you hear in your head and the words you speak out loud. When you say to somebody, what a beautiful day, you had the thought first and then spoke the words. Your thoughts also become your actions. When you get out of bed in the morning, you had the thought of getting out of bed before you took action. You can't take any action without thinking the thought first. It's your thought that determines whether your words and actions will be positive or negative. But how do you know whether your thoughts are positive or negative? Your thoughts are positive when they are thoughts of what you want and love and negative thoughts are thoughts of what you don't want and don't love. It is that simple and that easy. Whatever you want in your life, you want it because you love it. Take a moment and think about it. You don't want things you don't love, do you? Every person only wants what they love. Nobody wants what they don't love. When you think or talk about the things you want and love such as I love those shoes they are beautiful. Your thoughts are positive and those positive thoughts will come back to you as the things you love. Beautiful shoes. When you think or talk about the things you don't want and don't love, such as look at the price of those shoes, that's highway robbery. Your thoughts are negative and those negative thoughts will come back to you as the things you don't love, things that are too expensive for you. Most people think and talk about what they don't love more than they think and talk about what they love. They give out more negativity than love and in doing so they are inadvertently depriving themselves of all the good things in life. It's impossible to have a great life without love. People who have great lives think and talk about what they love more than what they don't love. And people who are struggling think and talk about what they don't love more than what they do love. One word frees us of all weight and pain of life. That word is love. Talk about what you love. When you talk about any difficulties with money, a relationship, an illness or even that the profits of your business are down, you are not talking about what you love. When you talk about a bad event in the news or a person or a situation that annoyed or frustrated you, you are not talking about what you love. Talking about the bad day you had, being late for an appointment, getting caught in traffic, or missing the bus are all talking about what you don't love. There are many little things that happen each day. If you get caught up in talking about what you don't love, every one of those little things brings more struggle and difficulty to your life. You have to talk about good news of the day. Talk about the appointment that went all. Talk about how you love being on time. Talk about how good it is to be full of health. Talk about the profits you want your business to achieve. 
talk about the situations and interactions you had in your day that went well. You have to talk about what you love to bring what you love to you. If you parrot negative things and is quack about the things you don't love, you are literally jailing yourself like a parrot in a cage. Every time you talk about what you don't love, you are adding another bar to cage and you are locking yourself away from all the good. People who have great lives talk more about what they love. By doing so, they gain unlimited access to all the good in life and they are as free as the birds that soar in the sky. To have a great life, break the bars of the case that is jailing you. Give love. Talk only about what you love and love will set you free. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Jesus. Nothing is impossible for a force of love. No matter who you are, no matter what situation you may be facing, the force of love can set you free. I know of a woman who through love alone broke the bars that caged her. She had been left in poverty and faced with bringing up her children by herself after 20 years of an abusive marriage. Despite the extreme hardship she faced, this woman never allowed resentment, anger or any ill feeling to take root inside her. She never talked negatively about her ex-husband but instead gave only positive thoughts and words about her dream of a new perfect beautiful husband and her dream of traveling to Europe. Even though she had no money to travel, she applied for and got a passport and bought a small items she would need on her dream trip to Europe. Well, she did meet her perfect beautiful new husband and after marrying, they moved to her husband's home in Spain overlooking the ocean where she now lives in happiness. This woman refused to talk about what she didn't love but instead chose to give love and think and talk about what she loved and in doing so she set herself free from hardship and suffering and received a beautiful life. You can change your life too because you have an unlimited ability to think and talk about what you love and so you have an unlimited ability to bring everything good in life to you. However, the power you have is far greater than giving positive thoughts and words of things you love because the law of attraction is responding to your thoughts and your feelings. You have to feel love to harness its power. Love is the fulfilling of the law.